Hello everyone, it is I, Juniper Blue Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer, Divine Guide, and Goddess. I'm coming to you today with a guided meditation from the Creator and the Beautiful Angels in order to heal the Twin Flame relationship, my Twin Flame relationship and every Twin Flame relationship out there. Even if you're not a twin flame, you can use this meditation and imagine the person in front of you you wish to heal the relationship with. But this one is specifically for twin flames, so it may affect it greatly. It's a warning. So feel free to just close your eyes and have your palms facing up in receiving mode. Begin by focusing on your breath already called on the creator of all that is, and I call on all the angels to step forward and help me in this transmission they wish that I bring th through for all of you. Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raguel, with his beautiful rainbow light and colors, and Archangel Raphael is also stepping forward. Saint Germain is going to step forward with the book of the Akasha Records as well. Because apparently, I didn't know this, but this was going to affect the Akasha Records. Just keep focusing on your breath. Breathe however you feel the need to breathe right now. Take note of how your breath feels as it enters your body. Does it feel warm or cold? Is it easy or is it hard to breathe? Focus on this for a little bit, breathing in, deep into your belly, and exhaling out. And with each breath you take, your body begins to relax and calm more and more. I know this one's going to work deeply because I already feel the healing. So again, all you have to do is follow my breath and breathe. Breathe through anything you may feel. Allow things to open up and heal. For that is the truly best way to be free from anything and to love unconditionally. Archangel Raguel, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Michael are already beginning to work on both the twin flame souls, the twin souls. Infinity symbol is being placed on the ground of energetic cleanse. So in this infinity symbol, it rotates green healing light, slowly moving across the symbol, one side to the next, intertwining in the middle. And it begins out slow. You can start to imagine that you are standing on twin soul, whether you know them or not, is standing on the other. If you've met them, you can picture them in your head. If not, just know that they are there, whoever this person may be. I have met mine. So just imagine your twin soul standing on the other side of the St. Germain, standing off to the side of the Akasha Records. We are going to be healing in the Akasha Records as well as recording them too. We are going to be healing every bit of our connections between the twin flame. So telepathy, communication will be heightened again like it should have been. It will all be healed. The connection, the love, telepathy, every bit of the Twin Flame Union is going to be healed today. All heartache, all missed opportunities, all shoulda, coulda, wouldas, everything that you think in your heart of I wish I didn't do, I wish I didn't do, is going to be healed and the most magnificent light is going to be shined, shined upon it, <laughs> flooded into this space of heartache, regret, sorrow, and loneliness. 
as we started to bring those up to the surface, the line of continuation, the line of connection is already being born. It is going to have to be reborn and reestablished due to the mishap on the twin flame journey. But every bit of it has been forgiven, has been recorded, has been seen by the Creator. And so much love, forgiveness, gratitude, support and justice will be floated into the space, into the connections, as well as acceptance, he said, acceptance, brought in to help heal this connection, to help flood the space full of love and repair. Just breathe normally, make sure your palms are facing up and receiving love standing on one end of the room and your twin soul standing on the other. This room is empty. The only thing in this room is the two of you. A beautiful rainbow pathway that is being created in front of you between you and your twin soul. The infinity eight symbol that is in the middle of this room. Halfway to each other. As you're standing there across the room, start to imagine a beautiful flame in the heart space of you and your twin flame, your twin soul. This flame is of the same flame split in two. This flame came from the same source, the same light, the same love. It was split in two and one half placed in your heart and the other half placed in your twin soul's heart. This flame is small, and it's beautiful, and it's white, and it is flickering in your heart space right in the center, and beginning to flicker in your twin soul's heart space right in the center, beginning to open up the heart chakra, beginning to help the communication and the love flow. This light begins to match your breath and your life source. You and your twin soul begin breathing and the flame begins flickering with each breath, begins growing with each breath. You can begin to see the face of your twin soul if you know it and if not you still may see it in the face. You may begin to hear their breath as it begins matching yours in synchronicity form. The flames begin flickering in synchronicity form together, for they are of the same flame, they are of the same life source, they are of the same heart. You may begin to feel emotions coming up as well and that is okay. Allow it to be. Allow the healing to take place and allow magnificent love to flood in and replace any mishapped energy, any stagnant energy, any fear, any regrets, any doubt. Whatever emotions arise, know that you will not be left vulnerable. You will be healed a thousand percent today. The roots are being brought in from each, each soul, still standing across the room from each other. The roots of one twin soul are being cleansed from the light from above, running down the chakra centers, running down through the higher chakra chakra, down into the third eye, down into the throat chakra. This is now currently happening to both twin souls. The light from above running down into your heart chakra, communicating with the flame that is flickering with each breath you both take. Your 
heart begins beating together, like music creating sound. The tongue, feeling each other's pulse, feeling each other's life force, each other's breath. As the light from above comes down from your heart into your solar plexus, repairing the connections between your chakras, bringing this light down further into your navel chakra, helping you feel the life force that runs between the two of you. Almost like an umbilical cord from your navel chakra to your twin souls begins to form. This was always there, but it had been severed in this lifetime. So healing between the navel chakra cords is already beginning to form. As we bring this light down further into our sacral chakra, healing any past relationships that don't matter, that keep us in fear from connecting from our twin flame with our twin flame, our twin soul, that keep us in doubt, that make us feel unworthy, unholy. Bringing this light down further into the root chakra, down into our cord root connection shining this light down the root connections of each twin soul, down to the earth star chakra, opening it up and allowing it to communicate and establish the love and support of Mother Earth for each twin soul, activating their DNA, cleansing the DNA together, repairing any misconnections, severed energetic forms and bringing these cords and this light down further through the layers of the earth through the rock layer through the water layer allowing the water to cleanse these root connections of each twin soul to communicate with these root connections of each twin soul these new energies of this new earth all past karmic contracts have already been dissolved. It is cleansing the new contracts that have already been formed, rejuvenating them, reviving them, and making them brand new. Bringing our root chakras down into the crystalline grid, which is filled with Christ, light, and love. The yellow rays golden rays of the sun that have activated Christ's light by flooding this place and into your connections now, allowing that light to rise up into your being and down your cord connections into the core of the earth, bringing your connections all the way down to the core of the earth, reminding you here why you've been born, getting a flood of downloads through your cord connections to why you were both here, to why you were both born in this lifetime, and to why you are supposed to be together in God's eyes right now. Flooding through these energy connections through your cords and into the heart of each soul allowing you to start opening up to the love that was always there but is now being reborn. (coughs) As these cord connections go down into the root and the core of the earth, going through the core of the earth and meeting together on the other side of the core of the earth, anchoring in around the core of the earth, anchoring in so tightly they cannot be undone. As these twin soul root connections begin to intertwine once more. Bringing this light back up through their root connections and as this happens it's going to allow the roots to be reborn together again. Any 
separations that have occurred through mistakes that we have made are being repaired and reborn. Drawing this light up between the two souls, slowly intertwining their root chakra, their root cords, I should say, and bringing this light all the way up their connections into their energetic space, into their feet and into light codes, Christ light, the yellow rays and the rays of the sun, healing these connections like no harm had ever been done. Saint Germain opening up the energy of the Akasha records, bringing in so much love and healing and support, making space for newness and love to be revealed. As all of that has happened, both twin souls with their flickering flame in their heart, matching each other's breath and each other's heartbeat, begin to know why they love each other so, why they are meant to be together, allowing them to see the contracts that they have both agreed upon and formed. The love between these two souls is so deep that no matter what, it was never fully undone. Recognizing that, acknowledging that through the heavens above. No matter what came in to sever this love, it could not fully be undone. Accepting that into your heart spaces as this rainbow path lights up in front of both of you. You both start to feel drawn towards each other, starting to feel like you cannot go anywhere else but coming together. That is all you want, that is all your heart begins to desire, is being able to come closer to that twin flame and to touch them, to feel their face take a step forward on this rainbow path. As you do that, your heart flame grows in the center. Your breath moving this flame along, the most beautiful healing flame of God's light and God's love flickering together, one flame and two bodies. One flame lighting up both souls beginning to grow together in the center of the heart chakra. A heart chakra connection is beginning to be reborn. Like a string of light with God's love coming out of one twin soul and coming out of the other twin soul as they begin growing towards each other to connect and unite. Each twin soul eagerly takes the next step on that rainbow path, and then another step, and then another step, and with each step their heart begins to grow in love and light and excitement and eagerness to connect, to feel the lips touch each other's lips, to allow their hands to touch each other's face. Knowing why you're meant to be together. Knowing knowing why you were both born. To serve a great purpose in God's eyes, the eyes of the Creator. To help change love and form. Knowing your love stands the test of time. Knowing that your love overcomes death, knowing that the love between the two of you can never be fully undone. The connection between the heart spaces grows further and further, trying to reach each other as you take another step towards union on this rainbow path. And with each step, 
everything that happened in regret, out of fear, out of misguided directions, are being erased. Being erased from your memory, being erased from your fear patterns, being erased from your emotional body, from your physical body, from your central nervous system, and from your DNA. As these are being erased, love replaces its form, filling up with Christ light codes and Christ love, understanding and acceptance, and pure passion igniting in its place. Your heart flames grow bigger and bigger with every step closer to that twin flame you take. And you take another step forward and another step forward, getting closer and closer to the center. And in the center of this rainbow path, right where the two of you are going to meet, is a unity, infinity symbol. You step closer and closer and closer to this, this form symbol. Your hearts beating together, pure excitement, <laughs> much like your first time, your first time meeting somebody, your first time being with somebody, your first kiss all over again. Taking another step closer and another step closer, removing any darkness that had been formed any regrets, any fears, any sorrows, and any words that were said that should have never formed, allowing those to surface, to be eliminated, and love to be reborn. The navel path connection is so close now, they're almost intertwining. The heart connection is so close, they're expanding in light and love ready to unite, ready to be together, ready to make love like never before. The roots of the twin souls are coming closer and closer together. Tele telep telepathic behavior, telepathic communication, excuse me, is beginning to be reborn, much like synapses in our brain space and the connections that have been sabotaged are beginning to be reformed, like zapping them back to life, one by one. You can feel it in your headspace, you can hear it in the deepest parts of your ear, it's little electric impulses being reborn and reformed. As you bring these roots closer and closer together, both of you now standing on the outside of the symbol. You begin to smile, the biggest smile on your faces. As your heart flame and your heart chakra expands even more to the full length of your body and with every breath expanding even more to where now your heart chakras and your heart flames are expanding beyond your physical self. The heart connection has now united this line of love and your heart connection has been reborn the navel connection is now being reunited this line of love and nurturing and understanding is being reborn light codes of Christ the Sun and the yellow rays beginning to flow between them from one twin to the next soulmates, love partners, best friends. You can hear laughter begin to replace any tears that had been formed. Lines of communication and understanding opening up, so eager to tell each other simple words of, I love you. As you take that step into the infinity symbol, both twins at the same time Step in the infinity symbol. Green healing light from Archangel Raphael circling this infinity symbol between the two of you through the middle pathway, circling around both of your physical vessels, your energetic vessels, 
healing them as it goes and the infinity symbol begins to rise, rising to the ankles, healing any lost connections and allowing all of those to be reborn, healing your DNA, healing every bit of the twin soul, this infinity symbol raising now higher to the knees, rising up through the thighs between the twin souls as your heart flame flickers more and more, expanding upwards now to your higher chakras and with every breath be extending outward towards the twin souls and extending, expanding, excuse me, downwards to your lower chakras as well. These flames are about to unite in the center of the infinity symbol. Your heart cords and connections are growing bigger and bigger and bigger and expanding in God's love and light. Knowing both souls, both souls never stopped longing for the other. Both souls never stopped in their heart of hearts wanting to unite. No matter what was being presented, no matter what was happening, each one, even though they don't yet know, couldn't stop thinking of the other, couldn't stop dreaming of the other, couldn't stop hoping to unite with the other one. The love between these two souls flows so deep, so strong, it never was fully broken. Through the darkness of darkest places, this love, one, remained connected, remained united, even if the thinnest strand was never broken. Knowing that sets you free. Knowing that gives you strength this love through divinity, God's love flowing through both of you unconditionally to the other as your flames now unite. The twin souls now unite in heavenly grace. And emotions can flood over you. Just breathe them through. As you begin to feel your twin soul's heartbeat intertwining with yours, you begin to feel their essence and you can smell them and it feels so warm and comforting and yummy and powerful. The Akasha records are being reborn. The love story is being rewritten. You reach out your hands in front of you as your twin soul reaches out their hands in front of them. And the hands unite interlocking your fingers holding on ever so tight as this most powerful light and energy just floods between the two of you like igniting every bit of the twin souls your chakras intertwining telepathic communication stronger than ever before knowing each other's needs before they have to be spoken knowing what to do to make each other's light shine ever so bright. Jesus is stepping forward, our Lord Sananda, as he is known, to pour the most beautiful, magnificent, healing golden light from the heavens above. Down one string, connecting the two twin souls from the heavens. Down each twin soul's chakras of the higher light. This beautiful golden light of God's love, Christ's light, down into each vessel as if to become one, as they begin to kiss. Their lips now begin to unite, feeling them ever so soft, making everything so right. All the words that were spoken out of pain or spite eliminated from their energetic form knowing that only true love's purest form can exist between the two of them 
or in each other's eyes, everything is all right. They cannot do any harm. They know their love is strong. They know they each crave each other. Every moment of every day and every breath of their life. The energetic flame so strong and uniting. The infinity symbol has reached up now to the heart space of each twin flame, twin soul, as they cannot stop kissing, <laughs> just feeling each other's lips and touch and faces and energetic form, allowing all memories of heartache to be undone, flooding this space with the most beautiful love story to ever been formed of how both souls would rather die than be apart. How both souls went into the darkest of dark and fought their way to be reborn together in the light. Both souls never stopped searching for the other. And now it is time for them to unite. The love of this golden ray from Lord Sananda or Jesus, flowing down through their crown chakras, through their throat chakras, through their heart, solar plexus, navel, sacral root, down into the earth star chakra and into their connections, which are now becoming one. The twin souls are God's love coming down on this earth to change the way we love across the whole world. That is our purpose, to show true unconditional love from the depths of the darkest to the highest of the light. The Akasha records being recorded now as the twin souls unite, bringing God's love and light together and unity of the one. Feeling their heart spaces flicker, knowing the battle has already been won, knowing that each soul is the most important person in the other's eyes. They're the most beautiful, magnificent, flawless wonder, no matter what has been presented in disguise. Winning a battle so deep that the love has only grown. The love between these souls has only gotten stronger as the infinity symbol reaches their throat chakras. Knowing that they only have truth to speak and love to give and all the rest has been undone. The twin souls uniting has been reborn. The connections have been re-intertwined. Their energetic systems have grown in love and light and connection. Lord Sananda is putting a bubble around these twin souls of God's golden light that cannot be penetrated, cannot be undone, for they are now on their path of forever. They are now on their path of pure love and light. The most unconditional love, kindest of words can only be spoken. Changing all perspectives from broken to completely reborn. From weak to the strongest love connection anybody has ever seen on this earth. Their love is deeper than the ocean blue. Their love is unconditional through and through. They only have eyes for each other, hands intertwined as the infinity symbol rises up above both souls now, completely allowing them to reunite. For energetically, they are united now is just time for the physical form. A 
allow them space to come together and to make love and divinity through the eternalness of time, bringing their power together and allowing them to heal each other one by one. Both souls completely come together in the center of this room and they are being wrapped in the most beautiful rainbow light and golden light from the heavens above. Nothing can penetrate this connection. It is reborn in God's light and love. Knowing that both souls fought the battle and won the fight. There is only memories of this love. The DNA connections are matching each one. Awakening each soul to this divinity of the one. They are warriors in God's eyes that eliminated all strife and brought light into love from the one. It is done. Just allow this love to completely continue flowing between you and your twin soul, never coming undone. Each twin soul loving each other, touching each other, and nothing could undo that ever. Give this time to completely flow through your system and to change your outer world minute by minute. For all you must do is follow your heart, for with your soul as a twin, The roots are completely intertwined and protected with the light and the love of God or the One. Your auras are interconnected and protected with the light and the love of the One. Nothing can penetrate them. Nothing can convince them otherwise of who their true love is. Complete healing and rebirth has now occurred. Saint Germain is doing his final recording in the Akasha Records before he closes it out and moves on. Malachi is opening and activating the Merkabahs of the Twin Souls, especially the one that has been undone, activating them and balancing the masculine and feminine, for God has placed a, a task on the masculines to help bring balance in the world. It is time for this to be done. Placing that in the masculines, the DNA activations in the Merkaba, and in the third eye, now. For God only places these tasks on the souls that are worthy. The divine masculine is the worthy one opening his heart and his Merkaba and his third eye, his crown chakra, his causal chakra, and all of his galactic chakra, the universal flow, to this task and to this process, giving him passion united and ignited to allow him to serve his purpose at this time. Light codes are entering the divine masculine now into the Merkaba, into his heart space, his crown and his third eye and his higher chakras above. Allowing him to activate and know who he is in God's eyes of light and love and to see his purpose clearly like never before and to have the passion and the integrity to act from this day forth. God forgives all love conquers all. The Divine Masculine is the one who can fix this, who will bring mass balance to the collective whole. What a gift of unity of the soul. 
Energetically speaking, the twin souls have united continually in love <clears throat> and unity of the one. <clears throat> this is where they will stay. Now it is time for physical form. So be it, and so it now is. All of the beings and the angels are now stepping back as they finish their work today. These two twin souls will not be separated. Thy work of this transmission is done. They are healed, they are united in love, and can clearly see their love is stronger than anything in this world or even beyond. Allow that to grow, for you have met your perfect one. Connections of this love will now begin to flow through the crystalline grid, reaching its way to each twin flame, and as they unite, they will unite another one. God's love will be done. So be it, and so it now is. Feel the love continually flowing between the two of you. Allow the connections and the telepathic behaviors and your love to flow through and through. It will get stronger day by day and moment to moment. Know that you are grounded to the earth, solidly in form. As you bring your focus back now into your own vessel, your own feet, wiggling your toes, your legs, your arms, your fingers, your head, your mouth. And when you are ready, you can open your eyes and come back to center. <sighs> True love has been reborn. So much love to all of you. Until next time.